bar there, or are there not flying saucers or uh, UFOs? Now, if you will excuse me, I must be on my way. I don't believe it. Welcome YouTube, Spaceman coming to you from my front porch, I'm smoking my ROP number 5, bed billiard that I just bought from Pipes and Cigars, and in the pipe is Russ's Monthly Blend, the Cavendish in the Woods, a fine blend. Very good Cavendish. Um, it's a bulk tobacco, of course. And um, basically, it was when Russ got into the Halloween mood. And um, decided to come up with a blend that might look a little scary <laughs> but it's actually very smooth very sweet mm. very vanilla-ish taste of vanilla it's a burley based black cavendish with notes of vanilla, caramel, honey, and dried fruits. And giving it a smoke since it's near Halloween anyway, so. Um Kind of tastes similar to the Molta Dolce a little bit. Excuse me. Food particle. Um, kind of like um, the, um, <coughs> I don't know, if I was to compare it, maybe somewhat like the Molta Dolce, but not as much as a uh, 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 floral. Uh, doesn't have that floral uh, flavor in it like Malta Dolce, and I prefer this over Malta Dolce. I like this. This is very good. I like Cavendish. I always like uh, a good vanilla Cavendish. When this one seems to be a lot richer than most vanilla Cavendishes I've smoked. And I think this is new for 2016. But anyway, I'll read to you the strength of this. Mild, medium. Of course, it's a Cavendish. Aromatic. Room note is a three. And that's it. It's just, you know, one of Russ's monthly blends. And, um... He does it well. And I hope to continue seeing them doing that. I hope none of these uh, FDA regulations knocks any of that out. And I hope the, um, I heard about the pending lawsuit and I hope that goes through and everything, you know, um, looks good on that. That they don't, aren't able to 
affect our pipe tobacco like what uh, uh, some uh, are being very cynical about so I mean I don't want to be cynical but on the other hand it's hard to be positive these days when these things uh, start hitting you your you know coming to your doorstep but uh, Let's see. What can I talk about? Well, this pipe, how well it's rusticated, and I love the color of the stem. Look at that beautiful stem color. I love that orange, that orange nice color, and the rustication on this pipe. See how beautiful that is? That's nice. Um, it actually says, does that say rusty? <laughs> it says rop, no, rop rustic. I'm sorry, rop rustic. Number five. What's good about this pipe, I notice, is that um, you, you don't really need the softy bit. You can clench it, and it's nice. Very light. Very good smoke. Good briar. Coffee I got with it is uh, my One Village coffee, uh, caramel, nut, and chocolate. And I hear the train coming. Brings back memories. Of when I was a child and I used to watch the trains, or I used to see the trains um, back in New Jersey when I lived there. And I kind of miss the autumn in New Jersey now that I'm down in Florida. Oh, it's, you know, cooler here. It's not the same it's just not the same I mean up there of course you have the much cooler weather and you have the um, the, uh, the, the changing of the, the colors of the leaves and all that wonderful stuff and um, in the area I lived in South Jersey um, it was timed perfectly so that usually the leaves would be like either midway between midway to peaking and, or they would be peaking at Halloween, and it was like int very interesting, very cool. Um, of course, you get the old pumpkin and carve the pumpkin and all that good stuff. And, uh, just kind of neat little things, you know. I had a black cat, and I had a couple black cats at one time. Just, it was, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's just a lot cooler up there. But, um, you know, if you've never been there, there's some strange things about New Jersey. And there's this one particular place uh, called Mays Landing. I don't know if you've ever heard of this town, but there's a lot of woods out there. And there's some pretty strange stuff out there. Um, if you're, uh, I was out there, you know, just walking around one day. And I, I just happened to notice something really strange. And what it was was you, I would be like, I'm just walking like through the woods. And I come up on all of a sudden this big, just sandy, like round kind of area, all sandy and just round, nothing there, nothing growing there, nothing there. And you would come up to these spots. And there was nothing there. Just out in the middle of the woods for no reason. 
And I found that very peculiar because what does that what did that signify? Well, there are my there are, and I know it's going to sound crazy. There are many reports and many witnesses of seeing either <laughs> aliens in those woods or monsters or what a lot of people refer to as the Jersey Devil, which probably is not the Jersey Devil, some kind of a beast that lives and there's probably many of them and you know, I can't say I've ever seen that because I haven't, but there's a lot of eyewitness accounts of that. But these strange um, areas, um, one can only theorize on that because um, at one time there were lights seen, and this is an eyewitness account that's in a weird New Jersey magazine, and I forget the actual number, but the uh, the the story is called The Thing in the Woods and it talks about these people seeing these lights going down over the trees and upon going out the next day to investigate I, I guess it was snowing it had snowed on the ground they were standing there and turned around and seen this thing standing there with this dolphin kind of beige colored dolphin kind of skin like it was something that came out of the water but it was standing on it was a, a biped standing on just two feet and when they looked at it it just let out this loud screeching sound and the one person just fainted and, and the other two guys had to grab him and carry him out next day I guess there that following week they reported they actually they, they reported this and that following week uh, the, the military or I don't know if it was a military some kind of research team came from out west somewhere I believe it was Arizona or somewhere from out west and they saw these footprints and very strange footprints and um, they had uh, what you call uh, you know they were extended out like the feet were extended out I forget what you call that the toes um, were extended outwardly and they noticed that this there would be footprints for so many feet and then for 10 feet there would be none and then they would pick up again and then there would be you know more footprints and then they would um, stop for 10 15 feet or so 20 feet then they would pick up again and evidently, um, at that time, um, I believe this thing was following these people through the woods. And so they said the only other place they, they have record of these footprints was at a military base out west in Arizona. So go figure. I mean, there is a military base near there, but um, my time's running out, so I got to cut this story short. There is um, reports, these circles I'm telling you in the middle of the woods almost seem like as if they were there for, and I know this sounds crazy, but some kind of ship to land or flying saucers. I don't know, man, it's just crazy. Um, but there are also reports of people who I spoke to, who's their father, when they would, this one girl, she said, my father was not a B, BS, or he was not a, and, um, he actually had this thing following behind him and when he would stop it would stop this was during the night and it was like 20 feet back and like it had infrared vision night vision but anyway that's the end of the video i gotta end it wrap it up now so i shall see you in the next video great tobacco by the way it's called um the cavendish in the woods and this is spaceman and i shall see you in the next video Cheers. Are well, there or are there not flying saucers or uh, UFOs? Uh, please, Mr. Crusoe, could you give us your regarded opinion on this nonsense about spaceships and, and even space people? Thank you. As you all know, you just can't believe everything you see in here. Can you? 
Now, if you will excuse me, I must be on my 